For the third time in just four days, a Brightline train has hit a car. The latest crash happened this morning in Lake Worth Beach. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office says the driver of the car remains in the hospital with serious injuries. Today's crash happened not far from where a mother and her baby narrowly escaped their car before a train hit it. The high speed rail company is again warning drivers not to disobey the law by going around crossing gates. WPTV's Matt Sesney live now near where this latest crash occurred. Matt. Kelly, this crossing at Washington Avenue and right near South Dixie Highway is where it occurred early this morning. Officials say the gates were down, the lights were on, and a freight train had just gone through in one direction when in the other direction, the Brightline train came through. The wreckage on the tracks, again, being faced by Brightline. First, the tragedy of these incidents are not lost on us. Brightline Senior Vice President Ben Porritt released video from the front of the train showing how a car driven by a 55-year-old man, according to PBSO, drove impatiently and illegally around the gates. This morning's incident, the gates were down, the warning lights were flashing, the bells were ringing, um, and an individual made a dangerous choice to drive around the gates. Brightline's officials emphasize they are doing what they can to educate the public about ignoring gates and warning lights. Two years ago, the line was called the most dangerous rail line in America per mile by the Associated Press. And recently, the federal government ranked Palm Beach County fifth in the nation for highway rail accidents. Brightline, now in its fourth year, says it is doing all it can to get the word out on safety and improve 48 different crossings. Brightline is, is coming. And it's my job to let people know the reality, like it or not. Stewart Mayor Merritt Matheson is bracing for when Brightline trains will start coming through his town next year, connecting to Orlando. And he's worried, he says, about aggressive drivers unfamiliar with the fast trains. Six cars is, is going by less than the change of a traffic light. The important thing to remember is they are going by faster. But that few, you know, minutes of patience while you're out driving your daily commute can literally save lives. That's uh, Stewart's mayor. He says they have been in constant contact with Brightline officials about getting ready and emphasizing safety when those Brightline trains do go up through the Treasure Coast. I timed it with a stopwatch today. From the time those gates go down, the train goes by and the gates go up, it's just 51 seconds. We're live in Lake Worth Beach. Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.